Holy crap. Jack, God, that thing is huge. Both looking slabs, baby. Oh, got one. What is going on all you real people? Welcome back to the channel. I got all the way to the lake today and I realized I have not made an intro for this video so I wanted to go ahead and make this intro for y'all real quick. I'm meeting up with a buddy that I met on TikTok. He lives pretty much right down the road from me about 30 minutes away and he is a guide and he wanted to take me out on this special lake today. He told me to just call it uh, Lake X because you know guide secret stuff but yes we're going out here and we're gonna be doing some crappie fishing to start with underneath this bridge back here I don't know if y'all can see it but there's a bridge right there and we're gonna do some crappie fishing and then if that all pans out and we get tired of doing that we're gonna try to do some bass fishing around some woods pylon stuff like that so guys y'all stay tuned oh and by the way I'm gonna leave his TikTok name right here for y'all so if y'all want to hit him up and you live in the East Texas area and you want to go fishing on a guide service hit him up because he's gonna be your man really cool guy but anyway guys let's get into catching some fish I'm completely pumped I'm sorry to go fishing, so let's go do it, guys. And make sure, if you have not already, please make sure to like, subscribe to the Dark Relaxing channel. Make sure to hit that big thumbs up, hit that notification bell for more awesome videos like this. Y'all guys are awesome. Let's go fishing. That is a keeper. <laughs> you want to keep them? No? I'll keep them. Okay. Do you have anything to put them in? Yeah. I mean, I don't have a cooler in my car or anything, but heck, I'll just wrap them up in my rain suit, take them home. I don't care. I've done it with catfish plenty of times like that. Was that all the way at the bottom? One reel up? I knew when I was looking up on that fish, it was a good fish. I watched that rod go. Yeah, I saw it too. Sitting there talking to you and all of a sudden I seen go whoop. I was like, oh yeah. That's a white bass, though. Ooh. Looks like a good one. Another keeper. Slab daddy. <laughs> you see how hard I set the hook though? Wing. <laughs> well, at least he wasn't coming off anytime soon. Oh, got one. Please be a crappie. Nope, another one. That's a bigger one though. Look how fat that thing is. Goodness. Alright. 
<laughs> Barf it. Dad, come open your mouth, bro. Full of eggs. <laughs> hey, that was like four or five just popping up and down. He nailed it. I want to see what they do with the uh, the garlic. Use the garlic. But I'll spray that on a jig and then put my rods in my car, go home. That stuff will stink up my car. Yes. Like I'll only spray it on that jig once, use it for five hours, get in the car, still smells. There's one thing you could do is you can take that cap off and then take the knife and just press right on that uh, plastic tip and it should shoot out. Nothing? There it is. Yeah. You need a knife to do it? Uh, it's working. We're back in business. <laughs> Watch out. Go ahead and center my way. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, getting that. Looks like a good one. Wow. Hit them like that, bro. That's in the gears. It's a fat one. If you can't catch fish in the gears, then you, you ain't fishing. Nope, you ain't fishing right. Guess he swiped and missed and just got him. Don't you love it when they come back for seconds? Guess not. Dad gone. That is a That is a good one. Yeah. Oh, 
hundred cups for us to see. Two standing up at six in the pool. What the hell is that custom? Paying attention to the dog. He'd be up there getting everything situated. So I would sneak back there and grab the fish and put it back in the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's hilarious. I told him, I said, hey, your dog's catching the release for you. <laughs> he said, you serious? I said, yeah, dead serious. He's catching the release for you. He was. Every time he'd put one in there, that dog reached in there and grabbed, grabbed it out. That dog's sneaky. <laughs> yeah, they're biting real light. Oh, right when you said it, too. Gum, he is tearing them up over there. Yeah. I just don't like, I don't like fishing on the bridge whenever I got these big rods. Mm -hmm. Because I'll break them off in a heartbeat. You see how hard I put the hook. Yeah. I break my own rods and then I get mad. <laughs> saw my video of my, my little rod. Yeah. Sitting, that's what I fish under the bridge with. It's a ice fishing rod. Mm-hmm. When I fish them underneath the bridge with my ice fishing rod, I wear that ass. Get your little dock demon under there. Uh, I think that that's what two of, these, two of those rods are. I think dock demons? Zebco dock demons. Mm-hmm. Those things, you can bend them over and they will not snap. Like you can just bend them, they won't break. Another good one. Over like that. But there's two compartments. They didn't quit biting on them, did they? Oh. Well, I you said that they quit biting. I bet there's a carpet. I was watching. I was watching your rod. Uh -huh. That's all I've caught today. Look, you caught him inside out. Yeah, right under the jaw. He went for it and missed. It's that WD-40 for you. <laughs> I, I wasn't a believer, now I am. <laughs> Yeah, all it took, a little WD-40.
Oh man, that one's peeing everywhere. <laughs> yep, one the right gravel. Yeah, that's good. Nope. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh. Well, they're very, very much alive. <laughs> <laughs> 